I sometimes feel like someday soon we will like disappear from the face of the earth. Sometimes I feel sad. Most of the times I feel scared. Because <laughs> we'll never know what happens. There was a book that I read about uh, sea level rise and it uh, told me that uh, small islands are not seeking it. They are shrinking by uh, coastal erosion. So maybe that's my thought about uh, what my elders told me. But the islands were, are not sinking, they're just uh, shrinking. Situated east of Australia and north of Fiji is Tuvalu, one of the smallest and most remote countries in the world, with a total land area of 25.9 square kilometers and a population of less than 12,000 people. As a small island developing state and one of the most vulnerable countries in the world, Tuvalu is experiencing the impacts of climate change, with projected sea level rise, increase in the severity of cyclones and ocean temperatures, compounded by ocean acidification. The Tuvalu government understands the development challenges related to climate change and the urgency of implementing adaptation methods. Therefore, it has made a commitment that climate change efforts are undertaken at the national and community level. Out of this commitment, the National Adaptation Program of Action, or NAPA, as it is commonly referred to, was conceived. But if you consider Tuvalu like other small islands as isolated, fragmented and, and, and uh, with the big oceans in between the islands, communications is extremely, extremely important, is critical. This project is uh, special to UNDP, firstly because the way it was designed and the way it was implemented was really done um, not by, uh, you know, coming in and doing it for people, but there was uh, tremendous consultations with people. In 2007, where uh, all the, the island's uh, leaders came together and, uh, and they draw up a, a plan, and they came up with, uh, with seven uh, of the, the projects uh, that they want to, 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 to implement in, in Tuvalu. So, number one, took care of the of the coastal protection, the water security, and the food security. Uh, and then number two came in and uh, took care of the, the marine-based uh, livelihoods, uh, the disaster preparedness, the strengthening of the island uh, uh, kaupules, and also the integrating of uh, climate risks into island strategic plans. The second component on disaster risk preparedness focuses on improving the early warning systems for people on the outer islands by strengthening reliable communication systems. When we looked at the needs in Tuvalu, we saw that communication was a very important part, especially 24-hour urgent, fully available communications for reaching the last kilometer, reaching the last island, reaching the last mile. As state-of-the-art equipment is being installed, it is very important that the installation be done by people with a great deal of experience and technical expertise. Tuvalu is uh, a very uh, trying and difficult uh, place to install and commission, so we have to be very uh, thorough with our equipment selection, um, purchasing and testing. The observations that our med stations here make are extremely important, not just for Tuvalu, but for the rest of the world. And it's imperative that they get the, the readings to the networks 
the international networks on time so that analysis can be carried out. For the Tuvalu Meteorological Office, the installation of the new equipment on each of the islands would enable regular and more reliable communications with the Met Office in the capital, Funafuti. Until now, we sort of come up with a, a more reliable uh, technology that can communicate and sustain that between the Outer Island and the Met Office. It's interesting to note that Tuvalu is the first country that we're actually got a fully blown alarm system with sirens and things like that. The, the good thing about Cherry Bula and uh, HF is that they are powered from solar. So still they are running with this uh, problem with electricity. With the chatty beetle installed, the Tuvalu Met Office now has an up-to-date state-of-the-art system that can communicate weather readings and weather information quickly and reliably. The training is a very, very important part of the project. Uh, unless people know how to use it, how to use it effectively, how to use it so that it's going to be sustainable, it's a waste of time. Integral to this component of Napa 2 was the issuing of solar-powered radios to each household as another adaptation method. For the islanders, this was a great relief, as they no longer needed to rely on batteries or electricity to power their radios. The National Adaptation Program of Action, Napa 2, is an important and integral plan for the long-term sustainability of climate change adaptation in Tuvalu. Advocating the cause by raising awareness internationally is vital as the rest of the world needs to be aware of the impacts of climate change on this very small island state. Suvaluans world should now react to carve our future. So we don't have to abandon our small and beautiful island. We don't have to give up hope, because if all hope is lost, then at least we have to be happy that at least we, do, we did our best.